and welcome back to Spider Stuff. Welcome back. Welcome back to uh, the derpy, shopping for spiders. The Derpy Chair Spider Chronicles. Yes. Ottoman the Derpy <coughs> Chair Spider Chronicles. That's really funny. I like that a lot. So, uh, you all are, like everyone else, is still at the... No, you you guys walked around the tent. The yeah, I was. Just, me and Barker just walking around. I don't know what sort of uh, was doing. Were you looking for anything particular? No, or just kind of. I really don't have any plans. Meandering. I just oh, okay. Meandering, yeah. Uh, you're greeted um, with interest because they don't see a lot of individuals from the surface, like non-death elf individuals, frequently, uh, especially halflings, <laughs> halflings, and like with half blue elves dogs. and elves and stuff. And, uh, Tieflings. Tieflings are a little bit more frequent. Uh, so interestingly enough, Chiron does not get a lot of entry down here. Or even even after the recent demon scare. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's nice. You demon see, lives matter. You see several Wow. <laughs> you see several uh, several more shops and abodes. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Really. Nothing that would particularly catch Rand's eye. Give me a perception <sighs> check. You love that. You laugh every time that. Because you, it happens every time you're talking. It's like your phone trying to interrupt you. <laughs> David, David. <laughs> perception. It's like you're going to ask me questions. Like, no, 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 David, it's a bad call, idea. Call up 10, so 25. You forget. 25. I have perception. No, that's, <laughs> that's great. So your, your um, passive perception is 25. Uh, yeah, I actually haven't updated that in a long time, but yeah. Nice. Very, very nice. Actually, uh, it's, uh, my passive is 30 because I took the observant feat way back Oh, then. dang. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see all kinds of, of interesting things. Um, they use Technos down here in different ways than they use it on the surface. Um, it is used... You see that it's very, very frequently used as continuous lights. We have street lights. Um, some of it's the like some globes of, of technos around. Yeah. Okay. Some of the fancier housing uh, actually has like, uh, glowing artwork on it. Not quite graffiti in the, in the sense of what you would see, say, in Arctic City, um, but it's like a lot of skull motif type work. Because they tend to follow Chaldea. You also notice that a lot of the death elf uh, peasantry, it, you have that with, with every group, right. um, a lot of them are not uh, shaped. Okay, so. Not I shorn, can, but shaped. They're not sheep. I, I can see. Or a they? difference in the people walking around without hair and the people with hair. hair. Yes, it is a, ah. an important distinction. Okay, you don't you don't really have a context for why, but you I can just, tell that it's a thing. You just notice that that it it, it, it is a thing. Yeah. Okay. So you walk around the town for a couple of hours, you make your way back to the uh, to Black Widow and Tinua. Do you also walk around town, or do you go straight back to the Black Widow and kind of hang out? Hmm. I mean, some brief sightseeing, maybe duck down a couple alleys and check out the artwork, but then ultimately I'd like to make it rather quickly back to the Black Widow to show off my new spider friends. And I also don't mind it. I don't know if it would ever matter, but just to state that I've done it, I don't know if the Underdark cities have as big of a problem with, like, Street urchins or anything? Young dark elves? Um, there are some... There's not a lot of street urchins. If I would there happen upon any of them, I'd give them a couple coppers as I go about. Just you, just because I do that. Yeah, you, you would encounter enough that you could... you probably hand out about a silver okay. piece worth of, worth of money. Um, you make your way back to... 
the, to the Black Widow and find that they're all kind of standing. Normally, they're kind of spread out in the tavern, but they seem to be um, kind of standing around a table. And sitting at the table is Antinua, and she has a little uh, house cat sized spider that kind of walks a little funny. And another one in the box. And they're actually very in, 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 very interested in the one that's in the box more than the kind What's of What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, have you named your tele spider yet? Or no? Frank. Frank. <laughs> okay. Like the time traveling rabbit from Dungeon Gotcha. Frank that's not what that's she meant, disturbing. but I just, that's the connection I made. Yeah. <laughs> Give me an animal handling check. What would you like me to roll? It's a d20. Plus whatever you have for animal handling. Yes. Hmm. Which would be your skill plus wisdom. On the way I handle animals. If you're proficient in animal four. handling, I think you are. Mm -hmm. if you so that. skill plus what? Uh, what is the bonus you have listed under animal handling? It's the second four. one. Four. Okay. Four. What's your wisdom score? This is gonna be fun. Eighteen. Okay, uh, are you proficient in animal handling? Like, is the circle... It's not. Moving? Okay, cool. You just add your plus four. Uh, roll it. Seven. Seven total. Okay. No, 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 seven plus four. It's eleven, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're, you're kind of trying to get it to do what you want, and it's... I'm not taking it out of the box in front of all of these no, people. No, of course not. <laughs> I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about Otto. Oh, okay. Um, you 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 purchased a few little like uh, snacks mm -hmm. for Otto. And I also have those 48 spider eggs. You do. Mm -hmm. Do you want to feed one to Otto? Yeah, I'd like to throw it up in the air and then have Otto catch it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you throw it up, kind of toward the center of the table, and Otto goes goes to get it and like flips over. <laughs> <laughs> like right like his helmet. like those dogs that can't catch anything. <laughs> it's super funny. Okay, when he does that, I scratch him on the belly. Oh. It kind of wiggles, <laughs> spider legs, uh, and he gets up and kind of uh, starts like bites into the sucks the juices out. Perfect. Makes a little... It's almost like purring noise, but not quite. <laughs> like, it's cute in a gross spider way. <laughs> cool. Knowing. But it's still gross. Still gross? In <laughs> <laughs> a gross spider way. Yeah. And this is what I see when I walk in? Did yes. You okay. <laughs> do, do I see Rand walk in? Yeah, like you're... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing and why are you feeding that thing? Oh, this is this is our, our new travel companion, Otto. Give me what? I wanna try. This is our new travel companion, Otto. Short for what? Ottoman. Short for Ottoman. <laughs> what? It's pronounced Otto. Otto. <laughs> You're bringing that thing with us? Well yes, and this one too. This is Frank. Frank's got to be in the cage for a little bit, though. He's got razor, razor legs. Rand starts backing away a little. He doesn't like run, but he just backs. Tell him what Frank can do. Slowly away. Tell him what Frank can do. And Bark suddenly darts towards Otto, gets right up on him, and just kind of sniffs at him. Just like, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's this? Huh? Uh, Otto, uh, Otto, like kind of uh, with his front two legs. Kinda Scratches Bark's head. He's making me oh, Hey, what, 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 what are you, you, you? Why aren't you talking? Uh, oh, okay, that's cool. You be quiet. Bark, would you I like? like you. Bark, would yeah. you like a tree? Yeah. I'd yeah, like to. I would like course. to toss Bark one of the spider eggs. Okay. And Bark has already eaten something strange yeah. in the underdark. He's just like, oh, mm. thank you. <laughs> Good yeah, boy. Brand, you want he, a tree? Can I eat it up? I'm going to stay over here. I'm just going to bat my 
back's just against the wall of the bar, just <laughs> kind of looking over. Watch out for the chair. <laughs> You're there um, probably another half hour or so, and then Alis- Alisaria comes back in. Um, I have... That's good entrance music right there. Yeah, it is. Unless, of course, she has bad news. Uh, I found it in an individual who's willing to teleport you. Okay. It will cost you 1,000 gold. How many buttons is that? 10. Okay. Uh, to do so. I need to teleport you off. Okay. Where do you like to go? Assuming that you can access. Well, we would like to go to Star Tech City as soon as, uh, given the possible. Thank you for your hospitality. Um, could you direct us to where we need to go? Of course. Rand is saying yeah. very quickly. <laughs> Are you okay? And, like, she kind of absentmindedly, like, pets Otto. <laughs> He's like not even really considering it. Oh, he has a condition. He's fine. He's so, he's so cute. Thank you, Alessaria. His name's oh, Otto. No, <laughs> oh, I know, I know. That's why I got him. I'm very much a soft-hearted individual, and it just broke my heart thinking that he was going to be used for combat training. Ah, uh, yes. And I did acquire... They have, they have to be conscious of... Mm, and I, well, I did also acquire this beauty, and I hold Frank up to show her. Oh, uh, yes, I've heard of him working on those. <coughs> uh, they're a little... Oh, tricky. wait, my robot can turn into a spider, too. I they're a little tricky, cool. train. Maybe a scorpion. But, scorps. Good time. They're still arachnids. Well, we're going to take it slow. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, so we have a one thing. get it to turn into a scorpion and have Jesse fashion a gun onto its tail. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> We haven't been in it. Yeah, you have a little Lizard robot, dude, don't you? Can just turn into stuff. Brand's Do you racism wish that you came were? up since, like, the beginning of the campaign. Thank no, God. Good. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Even though Rain's arachnophobia is coming up, his racism hasn't came up since, like, the beginning of the campaign. He doesn't like scalies. I think we've beaten the racism out of you at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't encountered lizard people since there are many lizard folk yeah. since the ones that are the guarding our tower yeah. overseeing the, the tower that as long as they stay outside we don't care you haven't been to that in a while and you do have a teleportation the they, yeah we could they always go back but they're dirty, actually dirty hands. that's what I was thinking it well are so are we making our way to wherever this teleporting I'd rather not is. like tell a bunch of like dark elves where our where tower, our tower is. is okay it's yeah. alright with you because it has all our things Okay, That's fair. understandable. Yeah, we can just teleport there from Sartak City. Remember, there's well, that's a where portal. The, that's what I was saying. Is that's where I actually yeah. want it. This is, I'm talking out of character. I don't know why you guys aren't using our headsets. We're not talking in character. Okay. Yeah, this is out of character talk right now. Right. But yeah. Anyway, uh, so are we just going straight to teleport? Guys, this, this place has nothing for me. Yeah. So I'm agreeable. I got what All I right. came so here for. What do you think? We ask her to All right. take us to whoever she found to teleport us. <laughs> well, I would just like to dote on Alisaria for a moment and just express to her how wonderful it's been to meet her and how she very she much feels likewise. like a likewise. kindred spirit. Yes. Mm. Cool. I will return. I wasn't really asking her. I was asking literally you. So no, I don't know. I'd say, yeah. And Rand is taking as far away from Antinua nah. <laughs> as possible at the moment. I'm glad you've had a good time. Uh, despite the bad time there. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like I wasn't even there. We're having a good time. <laughs> having a good time. Hello, Graydon. Want to get out here like a shooting star? Graydon is my guy. little spider. Like a tiger. <laughs> So you are introduced, or I guess reintroduced, to Jolak, the wizard fellow. And Hi, Jolak. Sartak City. Yep. Okay. I know that place. No problem. Oh, there's no platinum. Thank you. Cool. And uh, teleports you. To the circle in the University of Magi. How do they feel about that? 
They are a little bit surprised to see you because they weren't really expecting a teleport. A uh, seeker. Yeah. Uh, Had you since... I can't remember. I think it was... What? I can't remember if it was before you went crazy or not. But when we started on getting to the Underdark... But did we have any, like, was this a guild quest? Like, were we supposed to get compensation from the guild for this too? I hope so. For helping the Underdark problem? No. Okay, I, I couldn't remember. No. Usually you're the one that always negotiates a, you a were, prize for everybody. You were, you were, our job was to get the pearl. Okay, okay, I just couldn't remember. Yeah. Should we tell Kagan? No. We shouldn't tell him that we did our job. Tell him we couldn't find it. Why? The mo one of the most powerful mages on this side of the frickin' planet. Well, on this continent. I don't... One, one of those two. We didn't want to discuss it there. We, we want to find out what this is here. And I'm... At, Rain's actually whispering under his breath so in Tenua it doesn't hear uh, possible. Who was the god that talked to us? It ended up being... Oh. That guy. Wasn't it Avin that talked to us? I'm asking you, Joe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. You don't have any opinions about this particular scenario? You haven't heard about it. Okay. Just making sure. I don't really know where to go to pray for that particular one. There. Uh, Sark Sark City has temples to every, every deity. It's a big place. They even have temples of uh, Chaldea, but hmm. not super used. When you use those earrings, do they broadcast? Does it broadcast on total frequency, or can you like you specify? Do not know. Okay, cool. Um, Wait, does she even have? Does it yes, I have one. Okay, we gave her one. Okay. It's her glass, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, and in that case, like I said, I'm just kind of whispering to Swan, like, take this. And finish this shit and put this shit together. Hey guys, what you talking about? Uh, just adventure stuff. Uh, yeah. Tell me uh, more. Give me, give me a perception check. Continual. For Percentile? No, no, just a d20 plus your perception skill. To see oh, okay. If she notices you guys whispering. Oh, right, we're whispering. May not even notice it. Where is my perception? It's it alphabetical is... order. Skills list. Oh, <laughs> eight. <laughs> so eight. Yeah. Plus. Uh, <laughs> you are too busy playing with auto to notice this. <coughs> I'd like to throw another egg up in the air, but auto misses it and it lands on Rand's shoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then uh, Otto kind of scurries over to Rand and starts like. Don't you dare kick him. The egg off of the shoe. Don't you dare kick him. Press the digitation. What are you press the digitizing? High on soldier shoe. I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> so he just got rid of the food on there. Um, a, uh, a, a robed fellow approaches. <laughs> Expecting any teleportation today? What uh, brings you guys here? Teleportation spell. <laughs> what, is, what is your purpose here? Oh, right, right. Well, we, we were here. Just traveling back from a mission Kagan gave us, we found out that we need to resupply before we go back and finish. I see. At the mission of Kagan, of course. Definitely recognition, he says. Fair enough. Um, you've, I don't think that you guys have ever te te teleported to the circle. Not this uh, particular. He kind of points out where the exit is, so you guys can Neat. bounce out. There's a lot of... It's kind of a... Uh, you pass through several rooms with bookshelves, just full of books. And make our way out into 
the mage district of Sartak City. You heading somewhere in particular? What are you doing? Uh, I'm just literally along for the ride, playing with my spider. Whoa, not in public. <laughs> <laughs> So you've used three um, of the 48 eggs? Yes. Okay. Should... We don't know what's going to happen. We need to find someone to have a word. We head to the Thirsty Badger. Uh, uh, Rayan suggests we head to the Thirsty Badger. Was uh, that what uh, it was called? I assume you mean the Sexy Badger. Sexy Badger. The Sexy Badger. The Sexy Badger and Waz Raptor is what they called it? Whatever the fuck the bar's name was, but... The particular with, one that with the, uh, Soren owns. With the... I don't know. I, I thought you had a... Nope, the Sexy Badger and the Lodge Raptor is owned by... The guild. Uh, oh, it's run the, by Danny. the Dagnar guy. Uh, it's, it's, it's run by Danny. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah, just head to the Sexy Badger and... Ran, we walk in... And Rain said, and I'm, Rain's just like, man, I'm already tired from getting here. We don't have anything pressing to do. Let's just take a day off. And hell, I don't spend like, I don't feel like spending any extra money. We can just split rooms, and Tinua can go over there. Me and Soren can share a room. The uh, while you're saying all that, uh, the matron of the tavern asks Soren in the thieves' camp, which you would pick up. Right. Um, are you here on business? Mm. Kind of. Not, 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 not our business. Other business. Guild right. business. Can we get some privacy? Will do. Yeah, uh, and she hands you a key and says, uh, third floor. Thank second you. door on the right. Thank you. And while I don't know what business particularly they were talking about, I didn't catch that. Bad. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> with your 30 perception. Yes. <laughs> that, you know, you know, you can't. Um, I would like to cast to speak with animals. Okay. And I would like to speak with Otto. I'd like to speak with beasts, I believe it is. Oh, let me look at something real quick. I think I know where she's going with this, but we'll see. Let me you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. The knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence. <laughs> but at minimum, <laughs> hey, now we don't know that we don't know we don't know that my spider's not freaking brilliant. It looks like a dog. he's like Rain Man. Your maybe. spider's intelligence is two. <laughs> Why? That's a spider because intelligence. beasts do not have a particularly high intelligence generally. I think eight is where you start actually understanding language. Shit. Like vultures is six. Giant weasels are four. How do I make my spider sparter? Uh, the the awaken spell. Which Which is what happened to Bark. Which would actually allow it to speak. That wouldn't be creepy at all. You can can still speak with the spider. It just won't be particularly eloquent in its speech. They can give you information about nearby locations, including whatever they can perceive or have perceived within the past day. Okay. Yeah. You might be able to persuade the beast to perform a small favor at the DM's discretion. Okay. In ten minutes. And you'll be able to speak with Otto and Frank, because it's not... Uh, it, it, <coughs> you don't have to pick just one egg. Right. And it, it doesn't limit you to... Particular yes, because you can't see it on would, yourself. Would not. Frank be more intelligent than Otto? Yes. What's what's his situation? I'd say a chair would be, but <laughs> <laughs> you shut up about Otto. It's okay, he doesn't know anybody. I wonder if that's in this book. I'm, I'm, 
I'm gonna check, it might be. Maybe. I don't remember if it's in here or not. It is not. What book was that in? <clears throat> it might just be a 3 5 monster. Um, yeah, the. The, the base spider. Yeah, it's not in there. I was looking for it earlier. It is. We'll say that it, it is definitely going to be much more intelligent than your average spider. Okay. So we'll say that its intelligence is six. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'd like to awaken. Can you cast awaken? <laughs> Can I? It's I don't level fail. five. And your level. I, I can. I can cast up to level eight. It takes eight hours to cast. This one says instantaneous. Oh no, casting time eight hours. Okay. And you'd have to like sleep again to prepare it. It again. cost a thousand. Yeah, you'd have to prepare that spell. Okay. All right. Uh, you can um, do it. It costs. A, I believe it costs a thousand gold worth of something to, to cast it. It takes eight hours to do. Okay. Um. Okay. I actually. I just want to use talk to animals. Okay. So you cast Speak with Animals. Yes. And, uh, can we see if Otto is, like, if Otto and I are tight enough for him to scurry around and eavesdrop on what these two assholes are doing? Uh, you gotta talk to Otto. <laughs> what do you say, Otto? Help a girl out. I've got three eggs in it for you. <coughs> I like eggs. Eggs good. We spy? Yes. Do you remember the, the small twitchy? Find out next time. <laughs> yeah. Later. Bye.